Now, aren't we? Lovely fish. What a booty. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Lovely job. Look at that. <laughs> well, how's it going, everybody? We're off fishing again. Just went to one of my favourite spots and there was a chap in there, so I'm now going to pick a different spot. Not quite sure where. I'm going to try somewhere new, I think. Something like that. So, don't know what we're going to catch, but fingers crossed we'll get a few fish. So, sit back, enjoy the journey, and let's get some rods in the water and see what we can find. Yeah! Hi, everyone. So, we found ourselves a spot, never been here before. We're underneath a bridge down at Acre. Got the pub just there. All the free morons all up there. I'll spin you around and show you that in a minute. Dunes Cafe over there. We've got both rods out. We've got a new little stand set up today, so we've got everything in the air. So you can see the rod tips nicely. Run you through the baits, chew the rods, and let's see if we can get a few fish. There you go, everyone. First fish, Mr. Bream. Second cast, we're getting a bite on the other rod as we speak, so we'll get this back. So that's what I've done with the stand. I've got a stand like so, and I've got the rods up in the air. And I can see them quite nicely. I've got one just down in front of me, actually down there. Right hand one just down the, the road there, a bit in front of that boat. And getting bites on both rods already, so that's pretty cool. We got a tub of dead maggots, so they're not wriggling, they're just nice and still. We've got some nice juicy worms in there, which we're chopping up. We've got a water side mixed ground bait, that's what we're doing. So, we've got a bite on the right hand rod. Look at that. Oh boy, lovely job. Expected to find maybe bream and roach and that sort of thing. Lovely place to sit. We've got quite a windy day today, which is a bit of a shame. Well, I'm getting a lot of points, but I'm not connecting with everything at the moment. Wind's a bit of a pain coming down the river, but it's not too bad. It's not cold, I'm sitting here in a t-shirt, so I've got a jumper if I need it. I'm literally getting bites on both rods. Just got to hook up a few more. Literally, as I was saying that, I've got a bite on that small rod. Something's pulling back pretty well. Going against the tide here as well, so you get a really good fight. One of them got a slimy eely. Oh, and he come off right there. That was a bonus. <laughs> sort of.
this is what I've done is I've gone down to one rod because that eel smashed me up and went through the other rod, tangled up all the other lines made a right mess so I've gone down to one rod for a little while and we'll just see if we can hook more fish we're still getting a lot of bites so we've just stepped my hooks up a little bit so let's see if we can get a few more Hot chocolate. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's lovely and warm still as well. That's good. Well, the points have slowed down a little bit now, but we'll just keep feeding the swim, and I'm sure we'll draw the fish back fairly quick. Fish on everyone, fish on. Gave a good fight. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, just got completely slimed, as I always do. Oh, do not want to stay still. Okay, it's the brain, look at the slime coming off it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yummy. Let's get it back in. Look at that. <laughs> Mitchy all over me. Look absolutely terrible. It's all down my legs, all down the middle of my trousers. <laughs> Don't look good. But at least we're getting bites and getting a few fish, which is nice. It's not hectic, we're not getting like a bite every minute or anything like that. We're having to wait. At least we're catching in a new spot. That's what it's all about. We're trying different baits, different areas. We'll find out where the bigger fish come from, hopefully. Once we get a few mixed species as well. So let's keep doing it. Well, that's a nice area to sit. The only trouble is that's a road bridge. So it's quite noisy. Got both boats coming both ways. A lot of boats to see. Two people wandering about as well. The only thing's falling really is that wind coming down the river, but it ain't too bad to be honest, nothing we can't deal with. We'll wake up some more boats. Slimed again. Rabbi Dublin. Get it back in.
John. Good action on the little rod. Yeah, another reeler. Again. Lovely jubbly. Well, I've been having a little go down the side of the wall and I thought I'd try and get a perch. And guess what I got? Mr. Perch. Lovely jubbly. Now I'm going to try and see if I can get a bit bigger one than that. Fish it on everyone, fish it on. A bit of weed as well. Mr. Brain, need to get the net. Another nice fish. Hey. Fish is going mental. <laughs> you don't want me to hold him, do you? You okay? Whoa! Not even none of it. I'm getting absolutely slimed mad. Nice fish there, but look at the back. Grab a pot or something. It's pretty bad. Look at the back. It's in a room. We got away with it, didn't we? Right, just get it back in. So, that one come on one of my special baits. Of these. They're our own flavoured pellets. I know they're hard to see, but I'll try my best to show you. And they seem to be working, so that's pretty cool. They smell lovely. They smell like you could just eat. <laughs> they're all different flavours. Once we bring them out, there'll be lots of colours and lots of flavours. They're definitely working, so that's cool. So the reason I have to switch on to them pellets sometimes is because we just get lots and lots of their meals. We put like worm mates and stuff out there, maggots and things like that, even though we put the maggots in water and they're dead maggots. The eels still love them, so you put pellets out there. Most of the time you won't get the eels unless you go like fishy flavour or meaty flavour, that sort of thing, but they don't really pick up pellets much. Hopefully they're going to pull us some nice fish in tonight. Waves are coming this way to the right, but the undercurrent and the actual tide is pulling to the left. As you can see by the top rod, look at that, it's out in the middle. It's quite a pull. Lots of 
birds and wildlife playing in the river just down the, the right of us. Still quite windy. More than quite windy. It's very windy. But still not too cold. Got my jumper on now. Bites wise, we're getting the odd bite. It's not hectic. We are getting bites. We're getting a few fish. It's like the ducks to come to say hello to me. They all just jumped out of the water there, up onto the concrete next to me. And they're going up the steps. They're showing everyone. Oh, the other rod's going as well. Really? <laughs> Gonna show come through at the same time. It's really hard to fight though because they're going against the current. Way! This is fighting back. It could be an eel. Really thumping, or it could be a big perch. It's going, son. <laughs> Oh no, it's a bream with some fight in it. Lovely job. Damn! Went to grab a net, slacked the line off a bit and dropped it. Bream about three pound, just over three pound I reckon. So we've still got the fish on the other rod, which is quite crazy. It's heavy. Oh, what is this? Oh, I bent him into a snag. I still feel the fish and that feel decent. Pretty sure it's not an eel because I'm on the pellets. Come on, fishy, I can feel you still on there. Is it on? You can feel the fish still point. I feel a good fish. All right, bear with me. I'm going to have to go for a walk down there and see if I can get this out of the snag. Well, I ended up snapping up with that, but God, that was a good fish. I don't think it was a bream. I wonder if it was a tench or something like that. It was really fighting. Definitely weren't an eel or big perch or anything like that. It was too funky, sort of ploddy. That was a really good fish, eh? Unbelievable. Alright, let's get it back and get it set back up and get it back out of there. Number two on the second rod, just a bream, lovely jubbly. And the other one's in the net. So get this one back. Oh, I'm getting absolutely covered. So there's my towel, slimed all over, all over my top, all over my bottoms. Absolutely everywhere. <laughs> all part of the fun there. All right, let's have a look at fish number one. And this is the one we had in the net down the bottom. A lot bigger this one. Jubbly. Nice fish, nice clean fish this one as well. Put your spin up for us as well. Just what we want. Love it. Alright, let's get it back in. 
Let's see what else is down there for us. There woods in the water. Let's get the rods back out. Saw the fish in one rod really. I had both at that time, but that's quite hard to do. The tide's going one way, the wind's going the other way. It's windy up on the bank as well. So it's a bit of a nightmare for bites and stuff. <laughs> All part of the fun, we can deal with it. Let's see if we can get some more fish. Yeah! So, I think we're doing... Mm -hmm. right <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well for a new spot we've never fished before. Getting plenty of fish. Starting to work out where to feed and what I'm going to catch where on what baits. And I'm trying sort of short hook lengths and long hook lengths. Sliding rigs, six ish rigs. Trying all sorts of things. We've got a bite on the pellet again right now as we're speaking. Pellet's really fishing well tonight. So about a strike. on that shot and a really big bite on the small rod pulled round bang 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 and then snapped off well I'm guessing a pike took a rod or ropes or something like that because I had maggots on there that time it just completely smashed me out getting bites on the other rods so I'm watching that at the same time so I'm going to set this other one back up see if we can't get a few more fish Going forward to fishing again, but really hard work out in the middle of a really, really heavy flow. But there is on the edges as well, to be honest, but we're still making it work and we're still getting bites and we're getting the food fish. So. We keep trying, the pellets seem to be doing really well at the moment, but the maggots are working as well. We have another fish on. Cool, it's one on the current. only a, a smallish bream. I tried to lift it and that came off so it's my fault. So, would have been another one. Sun's starting to go down, that looks quite nice doesn't it? If you look at the actual broads, it looks like a sea doesn't it? <laughs> the waves are flying down this way and the current's going that way. It's making it really hard work. It's pretty much unfissable but you know what I'm like. I'll keep slogging away and doing my best I'm sure I'll find a few more fish for you
this on with loads of weed. <laughs> I'm getting tons of weed coming down the river now. Oh, it's bring coming in. Oh, sun right in my face. Look. <laughs> Fish on. Lovely jumpy. Another bream. It's a really, really hard work. The toys are whipping that way, and I mean flying through. I'm past him 50 yards that way, probably. And that's going past in front of me. Be the whole bomb. It's crazy. It's quite deep here as well, you know. It makes the flow even worse. It's like fishing Goulston River. Everyone knows what Goulston River is like. Flows through 100 mile an hour. But this is the broads. <laughs> but I'm still fighting through it. And if you know me, I'll be too. And we're still getting a tooth fish. It's really, really hard work. I don't recommend anyone to come down here and have a go. Not in this spot anyway. That's a bit of a nightmare. So we've got about an hour left, I reckon. The sun's now going down. And then we won't be able to see anymore, but I've only sort of planned on finishing fishing until sort of dusk anyway. So let's see if we can get a couple more fish and end the session nicely.
So that gives you an idea of what it's like at the moment. Can't even reel in all the weed get all wrapped around the top of your rod and stuff. You have to put it all off the line. Take like, I don't know, five minutes to reel in. <laughs> it's a nightmare. If you've got a fish on, it's even worse. But I'm still fighting away trying to get one more fish now before the end of the session. It's starting to get dark in the background. So hopefully we'll get one more. Never know, we'll get a few more, but might not get any. <laughs> Who knows? I'm certainly still trying though, but it's been very hard work session. Everyone's like hooping right around now, which means that's absolutely covered in weed as well. So I'm gonna sort that one out now. Hopefully we'll get a bite on the one I just put out. Right guys, I think it's time to call it. I've just put my last cast out. It's pretty crazy, they're just getting dragged down the river. Weed is all just up all the lines, all over the reeds and everything. It's just crazy to go. But I am trying to get one more fish, and if I do get one, I'll bring it to camera. So. It's going to be dark any minute anyway. It looks like on the camera, but it's not. It's, I can hardly see. It's going to be a headlamp time in a minute. Just to pack away, so... Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all soon in another one. Whew, so we're back in the car. I think we've done okay, but that flow was just unbelievable. Can't believe how fast that was going through. And the amount of weed that was going up at lines, it was like being out sea fishing somewhere like Galston River or something like that, <laughs> where you get really, really fast current. But we gave it a good, you know, a good old show. It's a bit of alcohol. We gave it a good go. And um, we picked up some fish, didn't we? So not too bad, but I don't think I'd rush back, yeah? I think I'd go further down the river, over that side of the bridge or this side of the bridge, and see if the flow slows down or find some eddies where, you, you know, where I go in a bit and, and get out of the flow. I'll have to sort of have a look around and see what's what around here and go from there and try somewhere with a lot slacker water. But yeah, not a bad session, so quite happy with that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. See you later.